I got Ashley when she was nine years old. Um, the first week with Ashley wasn't a good week at all. Yeah, I was a bad kid. <laughs> she would do things like, you know, she'd get in the car and I'd tell her to put her seat belt on and she would, wouldn't do it. And then uh, she'd take the belt and she'd bang it against the door the whole ride. So it was, it was difficult with Ashley in the beginning? Um, I was a very angry child, I will admit that. Um, there was one time that I just, I got so mad that I ended up punching a hole through the wall. Um, I actually don't even remember why I was mad, to be quite honest. I was just so mad at something and just lost it. Um, and she was not happy about that. You know, when I told her no, it's no. I wouldn't go back on my word, you know, and um, that's what you had to do with Ash. You had to be very consistent with her. You had to, you know, because, uh, and I think that's what, you know, I wouldn't give in to her. I, I it was like um, she wanted me to give up on her, um, and I just wouldn't. I'm not a very open person, um, but. Luckily, like, she was so caring that I was able to open up and actually, you know, um, just be myself, I guess. In the beginning, she was that shy type. She wouldn't, you know, but then um, after I could see the change in Ashley and, 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 and I knew Ashley had a good heart. She really, she really does. She's a kind person. Um, she was very caring, um, different from what other families have been to me. Um, she actually wanted me to succeed. She never put me down. Um, actually wanted me to better myself in every aspect that a person can. She's very close to the, the whole family. Um, she's very close to my brother. Um, you know, he's always been there for Ashley. It was actually a conversation, I want to say it was towards the end of my junior year, beginning of my senior year of high school where Dana had come up for a visit and me and him were just talking. It was like a good 30 minute talk, but it was the talk that actually changed my life. Um, I w went to start applying to the colleges after that talk because he was like, I ne again, I never thought I would ever make it to college. I wasn't super smart. I, the only thing I had really going for me was sports. So I didn't think, uh, unless I got a, a sports scholarship, I wouldn't actually make it in there. But he gave me the courage during that whole speech, that 30 minute speech, like he just gave me the courage that I needed to prove basically the world wrong, that I can do it. And then that's when I went to my guidance counselor the next school day. Um, they started setting me up with interviews with different colleges and stuff. I actually got into all of them. I still wanted to go to Bridgewater because I knew that was closer to basically their family and their family is basically my family so I wanted to be close to them. You know, that way, you know, I can share that experience with them. Even for college classes, like we had to do assignments about like where our background is and stuff and I, I don't even say she's my foster mother or even Dean, I don't say they're He's my foster uncle, I just realized that's my uncle, that's my mom, because they're the only family that I know and that are basically the only ones who actually cared about me to an extent that a parent should. I, I, I told her, I said, you know, you're, you're, you are part of this family, actually. You always will be. In college, I actually studied a lot of different majors, um, but I'm ending with a uh, major in criminal justice and computer science and a minor in accounting. I actually want to use those, that degree as um, to eventually become a computer technician for the federal service, uh, studying white collar crime. Um, I took a lot of classes that um, like homeland security type classes and stuff like that so I was like 
I just sparked an interest in it. Um, so hopefully I can do that one day. It was a long, hard road. It really was. Um, but we're at the end of that road and I, I, I just can't tell her um, how uh, proud I am of her. There's really no words that I can really say that could thank her for, you know, taking me into her home and treating me like I was one of her own children. It's, it's like an honor to me. Like, I feel like, you know, you really are the mother that I never had. You know, I wish that there were more foster families that did the same because, you know, it's a good thing. Like. I was a struggle. I was bullied as a kid, and when I got to her house, you know, it changed. Like, I grew strength and courage, you know. Like, I was able to, you know, grow from those experiences instead of using them to hold me back. I, like, use them as tools to succeed, and I didn't, I, like, even today, I never thought I would be in graduating from college. You know, if it wasn't for her and her brother, I probably wouldn't be sitting here in front of you guys right now.